Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Johnny Bazooka Tone. In the last episode, or the first episode, honestly, we broke out of Sin Sin Penitentiary, sort of. We still have to get out of there. Also, I found out what's going on in the story. The year is 2050. You're trapped in Sin Sin Penitentiary by El Diablo, Lord of the Underworld. You must find your guitar, Anita, and get out. That's basically the gist of it. And I want to go over to the right here and grab a gold star so I can fully refill my health. And then we're going to make our way up. We're going to have be having a long vertical climb ahead of us. And we want to make sure we take as little damage as possible along the way. Also, there will be fall away floors and you want to watch out for those. Once they fall away, they never come back. So you're going to have to remember when to hold forward and down and hold the fire button in order to float while you're running. Also, this is a key. Kind of hard to tell because of the inside of that little room there, but that's what it is. We pick it up with circle to suck it into the vacuum of our gun. We spit it out with the same button and we are able to open this door and find a black key. Also, I managed to find another colored note of the rainbow notes. I believe it is the indigo one. And apparently me pogoing into him was enough to damage him. Fun. Still want to get as many notes as possible because we're going to need them. And it's a good thing we got this key because I'm able to open up this door and go over here. You have to jump to reach the... to reach the stairs. But while you're doing that, you can just walk under the stairs in order to go past them and go to other areas. And you'll want to explore these areas carefully as you go through this stage or this section of the first level because you can easily miss things. It is very easy to miss something in this game and you never know when you might find a door that you may need to unlock. And I don't have an item. Okay. Do want to get rid of him though. And him. Something tells me this is going to be... Yep. But we did get some power-ups on the way. Let's drop down a little bit. Because it's hard to get out of there. And back here. And there is a mattress over here. I want to use that to not only get to those areas, yikes, but also to take care of this enemy. And I want to make sure that I shoot down as many of these brown or black blobs as I can, so that way I can get rid of them. And they all seem to be trapped in there somehow. Well, I got a key. I may be dealing with them soon enough. Nope, not these. They would probably would have disappeared anyway if I went far enough away. Oh well. For now though, what is over here? Because I forgot already. Not okay, we've been here already. You might as well just go ahead and go up the stairs here. And get rid of you. Now. Oh. Right, this is the one where you have to do the two jumps. We're getting close to another extra life already, and I seem to be doing a rather okay job at not getting myself hit. Those little green gremlins are probably the worst enemy. Outside of the... Outside of these blobs, because... You never know when you, when you might run into them, or you'll be trying to run into them, and you'll fail miserably at doing such. And I just took two hits that I did not want, three hits that I did not want to take now. I honestly do not like the blobs. They're probably even worse than the green gremlins now that I think about it. 
was, I mean, I, I'm glad I got the extra life and everything, but I'm running low on health. And health is not easy to find in this game, let me tell you. Now I just need to remember where I need to use the keys and where to go to use them. So that way I don't have that much of a hard time getting around and hopefully finding some power-ups. Don't like you. You are a gold key, so I can't use you on that door. There are three colors of keys that you'll find throughout this stage and probably throughout the game. There's red, green, or red, gold, and black. And you can kind of barely notice what color the doors are. And once you get that s small glimpse, you'll be able to figure out, oh, hey, you use the key here. Which is a good thing. Also, there is a silver star right there. I want to grab that. Hopefully, without getting absolutely destroyed. I could have run, run jumped to that, but, well, I, I still can. There we go. Now to get back up here. Need to figure out where we need to go next. We've unlocked that door already. We might as well just go ahead and go up here. And I want to make sure I don't rush up these stairs because you never know when you might run into a gremlin. Up. Oh, there we go. More destroy more destructible floors. And that that door in particular right there, we're gonna have to open it from the other side. now though oh there is a key here do I use it here it doesn't seem like I use it there but there is a gold key here but I can't exactly use it yet am I missing a door I hope I'm not that would stink if that was a case I'm not ready to just start going elsewhere for doors at this point. And I believe I've dropped down quite a bit of a ways. There's that door. Where am I? I may be at... Okay, I'm back at the bottom now. Okay. Let's check for doors. That way... I'm not missing anything as I go through the level again. This is going to take a while to get through the first level. I mean, it took me 20 minutes to get over here. And it may take me 20 more just to get through one section because I don't know where everything is. I practice everything. But you never know when you might miss something. Ah, I knew I missed something as soon as I came to that gold key with the black one still in my possession. So now that that's over with, we can make our way ba back to that gold key. I knew something was up, I just couldn't figure out exactly what it was. And we should be back over here? No. Here. There we go. Let's suck that key up because we're going to need it. And that's not exactly how I wanted to do it. Also, there is a gold star up here to replenish three hits. Thankfully, I'm not exactly going to need them. And this door you would have been able to open the other side, but... Well, we can't actually do that. It was the one door in my practice run that I couldn't break. Also, um, I want that. If I can get that, that'd be great. And I know I'm not going to be able to destroy that enemy, so I'm not even going to try. I did want the extra life, though. You can never have enough extra lives in this game. And Huh, this guy apparently leaps while you're firing. Very interesting. And we got another red key. I am 
taking this with me. Because, why not? And drop down a little bit. That's all right. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything all the way to the left. That is not the case. What about here? Well, there's a door I needed to find anyway. There are some things. Let's collect the things. Let's go back over here. I did find another key, right? Let me... Okay. Let Yeah, I about to say, let me press circle to check. So we got a gold key in our possession, and it goes right here. Want to be careful. This is, there are times when you run a run in this game and times when you don't. And I got quite a few of those notes from those blobs there, which is a good thing. I don't want to go over here just yet. In case I get hit at any point between now and then. Should have ran, but oh well. How do we get over here? Hopefully without running into a gremlin. And there's a black key here. Let's drop down here. Because we jumped from that height and hit the mattress, we were able to bounce all the way back. The amount of to which oh, the amount of height you get off these mattresses is related to how high you jump onto the mattress from. If you jump from a high height, you're going to get a high bounce. If you jump from a low height, you're going to get a low bounce. Um no actually no, he, I, I'm going to let you go over here. I'm going to look down. And that was a terrible mistake on your part. Now, I have a black key, don't I? I'm going to spit this out just to make sure. Yes, I do. Okay, we need to find a black key. Or a black door. I've already found the black key. No. Nope. And I thought you jumped for a second with X. Great. And this is where we jump down onto the mattress from. So there's no real reason to go over there. So let's go back up here. And I want to take care of these enemies. Pronto. And I do want to refill my life here. I still need to open a black door. And I want to make sure that I hit that guy on the way down, so that way I don't get hit by him. Time to take care of you from below. There's the key I'm looking for. Bunch of treble clefs and a silver star. I probably should have saved that for later, but oh well. And some more treble clefs, which I'll definitely need. You never have enough treble clefts. And I want to take him down. Take down all these blobs here so that way they don't give me a very hard time. Maybe I should have saved that for later, but oh well. Or maybe not, because there's one right here. It's like they kind of expect you to get hit there by the blob and its attacks. And I seem to be doing good at just overall not dying, and that is an open door, and I need to just destroy that guy right then and there. That is a red door. This door will not, or this key rather, will not open that, and come on. I see you. You're following me. There we go. You're out of the way in advance. Is there a door at any point that I need to open with the gold key? I hope not. I don't remember seeing one recently. Though... 
the game make me, may make me find out otherwise. It's not this one. There probably is one that I need to find. And why are you in my way? And hey, you jumped up there for me. Good, I wanted to shoot you anyway. Let's leap up here. Ah. Uh, really? Stop jumping. Stop, stop. Johnny, stop. Sheesh. Well, there was a gold key there. Or a gold door there. And we need to leap off of this to get back to where we were. Okay, where are we? We should be somewhere. Okay. We're back to where we got hit by those gremlins. And you just showed up right where I wanted you to. Okay. Jump down here. Go over here. Grab these. Let me make sure I have a key again because it's been a while. Okay, we got a gold key. That door has been opened. We got rid of that guy. One of the two guys. And... I will save that in case I get hit. Maybe. Depends on what's going on. Okay. So we got this going on. We need we may need to make our way back a little bit to use the gold key. Now where are we gonna find the gold key? I asked myself. Cause there was one that was open to the right. There is a platform here. There is something here. There is a black door there. And I know I'm missing something now because there is one more rainbow colored note and I'm missing it. And I need to figure out where it is. There it is. It's over there. Excellent. We got all the rainbow colored notes. We finally got that taken care of. That's pretty much all we need to do. The rainbow colored notes just give you a bunch of bonus points at the end of a level. It's not like you need them for like 100% completion or anything. But they're, they're fun to grab. And I don't know for a fact if you have to, or if you can, get points based on, or get lives based on how many points you have. And let's rocket our way over there. And once we fire on this 10 ton weight, this, this thing's over. And I did not want to drop down there. So let's go back down there. We've got so little left to do here, and I want to make sure I do it. Can I hit the thing, please? I guess you're supposed to fire downwards on it. What, 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 what do you do here? I was doing everything right. What am I not doing? Come on. 
I can't believe it's taking me forever now to... Do I just have to leap into it? Yeah, you just have to leap into it. Because I know I leaped into it and I managed to make that break, make that fall and break the floor down here. But I didn't know if you had to shoot it down or not. You know, you just have to leap onto it. And, wow, that was terrible. Um, That's not what I wanted to do! Ugh, now I'm down to three hits here. Let's get over here and pause the game. Okay. We are now on what looks like the River Sticks, which looks like a river of slime. You don't want to fall into that. If you fall into it, you're dead. And you have to shoot the fish down to get a coin to pay Sharon, the guy who's running the pedal boat down there, to get you around. Otherwise, you're mostly going to be doing platforming and it's going to be very, very bad. I'd rather use Charon. But we will handle that in the next video. Join me next time where we go through more of level 1 and hopefully take on level 2. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!